Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're going to be looking at power banks and the benefits they can offer. Whether those benefits are for your everyday life or they're for natural disasters, power outages, uh, SHTF situations, um, whatever the case may be, uh, power banks definitely in today's time offer many benefits because we use so many things that require power. Alrighty, so in front of us today we have multiple uh, different types of power banks. Um, as you can see, power banks come in all different sizes from super small ones right here to thin tall ones to thicker ones. Uh, we'll dive more closer into these. Um, also what we have is we have some um, wall adapters that will not only recharge your power adapters but also use to power other devices. But these are not your ordinary adapters. Um, they are more on the uh, high power out output time, so it allows the super fast charging, uh, even using a USB-C cable. Now that USB-C cable does need to be rated at a 100 uh, watts, uh, but you could charge your uh, laptop with that as well. Alrighty, now that we have all these set out in front of us, again, as you can see, uh, there's different sizes. We have the uh, small ones like uh, this one right here, and this one um, charges by USB-C. It can also charge by standard USB. These are 10,000 uh, milliamp hours. Um, this one right here, let's take a quick look. See here. This is another 10,000. Uh, the nice thing about this one right here is this does have a nice little display which will let you know um, what percentage of battery you have and this provides a uh, 22.5 watts of power uh, now sometimes that wattage of power is distributed across the ports meaning not one port is going to give you the entire 22.5 it's spread across the ports but the ports come with a uh, usb ports usb c ports um micro this one has a micro usb as well so they offer different um connections uh, here is another one. This one again is a 65 watt, so it's giving you more power. Uh, this one is also a uh, 20,000. This one right here is the big one. This is a 60,000. Uh, this is a uh, 22.5 watts, um, so it definitely has a lot of juice. Lasts a good amount of time. Um, here is another one. This is a 20 watt. Uh, this is a 26,800 uh, milliamp hours. They all again offer uh, different things. I like them. All these right here last uh, obviously based off of the um, how much power they can store and what you're actually charging. It varies on how long they last but they all last a pretty decent amount of time. Obviously this one right here is the smallest. Um, it's only 10,000. I use it to power like um, backpacks and stuff that maybe have digital displays or other things and they pretty much last eight hours, sometimes a bit longer. We also have these power wall adapters. It gets plugged into the wall and what it does is it produces, I think this one right here, this is a 65 watt. Now again the 65 watts is spread across. I don't remember which port uh, has or distributes uh, which wattage but it's 65 overall three ports but obviously they all have fast charging uh, this one right here is a hundred watt one turn that around again same thing same concept this and this both work to charge laptops all of these pretty much have for the exception of this which when I got this big one I forgot but it does not have super fast charging but the rest of these pretty much all contain super fast charging which I like this one right here is a very light one I'll take this to amusement parks or other places that I walk and you slip it in your pocket it doesn't weigh a lot and it will power your phone if your phone's going dead or if you just want to have something additional power because you're going to be out for a long period of time this one is super light too same thing backpack stick in your back pocket and it gives you the ability to uh, charge your phone or power something else you made tablet or something to that effect why are these so good um, first off the ones I have in front of me 
see if I can find a brand name here. So this brand name right here, this one, this company, which you can find easily on Amazon, I love their power banks. They're very reliable, they're very safe, uh, they last a long time, and they simply do their job. They do come at a little bit more of a price tag than others, but you get what you pay for. Definitely, I like them, and I would highly recommend this brand out of all of them. Same, that's the same uh, company, or same brand, again, that does the wall outlets. Very, very good. All right, so these are really good because they give you power when you don't have power, but also they give you the ability to take power with you. Now, of course, you there's bigger types of um, devices you can use for power. There's whole battery backup systems. Uh, you could take, some of them can weigh, you know, 30 pounds, some can weigh less, some can weigh more. It just depends on how much power you're looking. I like these because these work for everyday natural disaster, power outages. They can even work in SHTF situations. It gives you the ability to store power, have power on hand, and provide power right here. I think with these would be used for like your cell phone and other necessities you might need. Um, they work great for say like power outages, stuff like that. If something goes down, you know the power is going to be out for a few hours. You can charge your tablet, charge your phone, still have the ability to use your device without running out of power. You can take these camping with you. They can easily be recharged. Uh, either by an, another power source, it could be charged. If some people will have those solar power recharging devices, where you plug it in, and the solar panels they open up, and you go ahead and you can recharge your devices. They can also be recharged by the power from your vehicle as well. It's definitely good to always have some sort of power bank. I think in some sort of pack, uh, your everyday pack, uh, pack in the back of your vehicle. Again, just having the power in case. You got maybe stuck somewhere. We all use our cell phones, but we all use it a lot. A lot of people I always see are running low on battery power. And when something happens is usually at the time when you forgot to charge your phone or forgot to charge your electronic device and you need that power. All right, so recap today, just a quick little video on the power banks here in front of us. Um, I've never done a video on power banks. If you guys want me to do specific type of testing, please feel free to leave those in the comments. I can. Overall, they charge uh, cell phones a, a good amount of times, definitely more than once, obviously. Even the small ones here, uh, they would charge your phone. I mean, we all have different types of phones. I guess it really depends, but I'm, hope, I'm thinking at least two charges, which is more than enough power in a situ situation where you just ran out of power, you're stuck somewhere, you're lost, um, or the power went out at the house. Simple, easy way to recharge these. They all function wonderfully. I haven't had any issues with them whatsoever. Prices on these power banks range anywhere from about $40 and up. It just really depends on the, what you're looking for, but I would definitely highly recommend at least getting some sort of power bank on hand and having one. You don't have to check it too often. I charge these maybe once every month if they're just sitting just to kind of top them off and make sure that they're uh, getting that power. Other than that, even if you waited two months, you're still going to have some sort of power in these. They don't discharge at a super fast pace or anything like that. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them. You guys have a good day.